to my paranormal romance obsession and this we are still talking about Laurel K. Hamilton Anita Blake vampire hunter series and this will be the last video for those this we are going to talk about numbers 23 and 24 today which are the last two books so far in the series she is not done with the series so there will be more so once you know um, I will put these in a playlist and then once she has more books, she has two more books, I'll do another video. So let's talk about the next book, which is Jason. And let's try to get you up there close here. This is the book. All right, and let's talk about him. And this is book 23, I think I said that. Enjoying pain with your pleasure is something you either get or you don't. If you get it, then you don't really need it explained because you know how good it feels. And if you don't get it, then no amount of talking is going to convince you that it makes sense. But sometimes you have to explain the unexplainable, especially if the love of your life needs to understand or she'll leave you. Jason Schuyler is one of Anita Blake's best friends and favorite werewolves with benefits. JJ is his lady love, an old flame from childhood who dances at one of the top ballet companies in New York. She's accomplished, beautiful, and she's crazy about him too. Neither of them wants to be monogamous, so what could go wrong? JJ is an enthusiastically bisexual with an emphasis on the female side of things. She plans to keep sleeping with women because Jason can't meet that need, just like she can't meet Jason's need for rough sex and bondage. JJ doesn't understand why Jason isn't content to go elsewhere for a need she can't fulfill, so Jason asks Anita to help him explain. Anita is having her own relationship growing pains with her only female lover ever, Jade. Jason suggests that JJ might be able to help Anita with her girl problem while she helps him with his kinky explanations. With some encouragements from a few other lovers in Anita's life, she reluct reluctantly agrees, and JJ makes plans to fly into town for an experience that none of them will ever forget. And that is Jason, number 23. Let's talk about Dead Eye, the, la the last book so far in this one. This cover I like. I haven't liked their, her covers for a little while, but this one here is pretty good. You can see the ice over. There isn't a lot of color in this one except for purple. But Okay, so number 24 in the last book so far in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. Anita Blake has the highest kill count of any vampire ex executioner in the country. She's a U.S. Marshal who can raise zombies with the best of them. But ever since she and Master Vampire Jean-Claude went public with their engagement, all she is to anyone and everyone is Jean-Claude's fiancé. It's re wreaking havoc with her reputation as a hard-ass to some extent. Luckily, in professional circles, she's still the go-to expert for zombie issues. And right now, the FBI is having one hell of a zombie issue. Someone is producing zombie porn. Anita has seen her share of freaky undead fetishes, so, she, so this shouldn't bother her. But the woman being vi victim... I'm sorry. But the women being victimized aren't just mindless, rotting corpses. Their souls are trapped behind their eyes, signaling voodoo of the blackest kind. It's the sort of case that can leave a mark on a person, and Anita's own soul may not survive unscathed. Dead eyes. So that is, so far, the end of the Anita Blake Vampire series. So anyway, um, I want to ask you guys what book I should do next, or what series of books I should do next. Remember, it has to be paranormal, and it can be werewolves, it can be vampires, it can be um, shapeshifters, it can be um, dragons, which are shapeshifters, um, it can be gargoyles, it can be demons, or witches, or whatever. Um, let me know what you want to see next, and 
we'll see. I will write them all down, and if they interest me, I'm not going to write or I'm not going to do something that does not interest me. So you know, if if you're you know do something that that sounds interesting to you, but and then I will choose if I will do so it or not. I will see you in a week or so with a new series then, right? Bye-bye.